Good morning and welcome to Maths Today. So today we are doing these two pages you can see on the screen here, we're finding fractions of numbers. Now one of my favorite, <clears throat> one of my favorite bits of maths is really straightforward. All we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using our bus stop that we've been doing the last few weeks, and we're gonna be using column multiplication to solve these. Okay, that is it. So don't panic, don't worry because it says fractions, it's bus stop and it's column multiplication. You just need to remember the process. So we're gonna start to find a look at number six here. Number six says that you need to find one third of 336 and two thirds of 336. So if we start off by finding one third of 336, to do that, we're going to use our bus stop. We're going to do 300, excuse me, and 36 divided by three, okay? We're dividing that by three because the numerator over here, so the denominator over here, the number at the bottom is a three. So we're dividing our big number by the number at the bottom. So if I do that, I can fit one three into three, I can fit one three into three, I can fit two threes into six. So our answer, that is 112. We're then going to take our answer and we're going to multiply it by the number at the top. So we're going to take that 112 and we're going to do 112 times by one, which we all know is obviously 112. So our answer is 112. Okay, that's one third of 336. The way to find two thirds of 336 is you do exactly the same process. So you do 336 divided by three. We know that's 112. We did that up here, didn't we? So we've got that 112. And this time we're going to times it by the number at the top again. So we're going to take that answer and we're going to times it by the number that's up there. But this time the number up there is two. So we're going to times that number by two. So this time we've got two times two is four. Two times one is two. Two times one is two. Our answer is 224. Okay. So always follow that same process to find a fraction of a number. Take your big number, divide it by the number at the bottom using your bus stop, times it by the times the answer by the number at the top. Okay. As simple as that. So good luck with that. I want you to try and definitely get that first page done. If you finish that quickly, have a go at the second page too. It's all very much the same. Don't forget the pinks at the bottom, and I'll see you later. This afternoon, you've got a uh, Zoom call with Miss Reed, where she's going to read you guys a story. So I hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you all in the morning. Bye.